My name is Karen Stewart. I've been working in the field of international humanitarian aid off and on since 2004. I'm often asked what brought me to do such work and to answer that question I want to take you back to 2002. That year I received a phone call telling me that my sister, my only sibling, had taken her life. I was devastated, shocked, and honestly shattered. The following year I was filled with denial, depression, anger, even thoughts of my own suicide. But slowly I began reclaiming my life, my confidence, until I suffered another significant family loss. It took time, but by 2004, I emerged, pretty much altered, but I had some level of acceptance and understanding of what had happened. As cliche as it sounds, it truly made me realize that life is short. I even asked myself, if my life ended tomorrow, have I done everything I want to do? The answer came, no. <laughs> what I really wanted to do was international humanitarian aid work. As a kid, I lived overseas and traveled throughout Europe and Asia. My parents took me to places like Dachau, where I witnessed the cruel realities of humanity. By visiting places like Laos, Thailand, Russia, my parents showed me a world outside the comfort of middle-class America. As an adult, I had worked in the field of mental health in the United States for more than 15 years in hospital and community-based settings. I'd earned a master's degree in social work and became a licensed clinical social worker. It was my dream to take my mental health skills and degrees to work with people in other cultures who were dealing with emergency and crisis. So that's exactly what I did. I checked out several organizations and landed with MSF, mainly due to their principles of independence, impartiality, and neutrality. I was successful in the interview process and brought into a pool of aid workers waiting for placement. I sold most everything I owned, including my car, my motorcycle, and rented a small storage unit for the rest. And in October of 2004, I was off to Lagos, Nigeria on a one-year contract at an HIV and AIDS clinic. 